I am a bit overweight myself, but I never worried about it before I was famous. And I'm not vain now. It's that you read about yourself, and the papers, they need an adjective. They can't just say, Ricky Gervais, comedian. They say things like, Ricky Gervais, tubby comedian. <laughs> what? Why say that? Why? Why bring that into it? It's like... You can't get more specific than your entire name. You know what I mean? Uh, who's going... Ricky Gervais. What does he do? Comedian. Ricky Gervais, comedian. Fat bloke. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> One paper called me Rotund Comic. <laughs> I'm not rotund, am I? There was a picture in the two English papers this weekend, OK? A paparazzi got me in Los Angeles, and I was just sort of standing like that. And it was in the Daily Mail and the News of the World, and they put a question underneath it, is Ricky pregnant? <laughs> I've been referred to as a chubby funster. That's like a gay porn name, isn't it? <laughs> oh, here comes the chubby funster. I was jogging once, right, with my iPod on. Yeah, looking good, right? Paparazzi got me, full page in the paper the next day, with the headline, iPodge. Cheeky bastards. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, all the charity work I do. I don't want to really talk about it, but I, I do. <laughs> One of the first big charities I got involved with, um, years ago, was when I worked at the University of London, was the Terence Higgins Trust, which is the big AIDS charity in, um, in Britain. And it was, um, it was sort of mid to late 80s, so people were still like, oh, what's this new thing called AIDS? What's this? Oh, it's gone from strength to strength now. It's doing very well. It's gone global. But <laughs> got its own day and everything. 1st of December, World AIDS Day. I don't think it'll ever take off like Christmas, because it's, <laughs> it's got a wrong vibe about it. Um, and the card companies of Mr. Trick, they're usually straight in for anything, aren't they? And you, can, you, can't, you cannot get, sorry, you've got AIDS cards. They don't exist. You're, or one that plays a little tune to cheer someone up, a little relevant tune. I don't know what a relevant tune would be, but... I'm a nine-stone cowboy. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, but... I won't do this in San Francisco. Um, I, um... <laughs> because you had a bad gay. Oh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> No, but I learned a fascinating fact when working for the Terence Higgins Trust. People always learn stuff from my lectures. Um, <laughs> this is absolutely true. The first HIV virus was actually a combination of two separate viruses that joined in rhesus monkeys and made this rudimentary form of AIDS. And this was passed to chimpanzees. Sometimes chimps will get a bloodlust and eat a rhesus monkey in it. It sort of evolved and mutated in chimps. And because we're 98.6% genetically identical to a chimpanzee, it was able to be passed to humans. And the first human contracted AIDS when he was chopping up chimp meat and he cut his finger, although that's the excuse I'd have given as well. You'd have to come up with something when you go to the doctor and you go, I feel terrible, doc. And he goes, well, I'm not surprised. You're the first human to contract AIDS. How would I got that? <laughs> Two ways. <laughs> One, you were fucking a chimp up the arse. <laughs> Me? <laughs> fucking a chimp up the arse. No way. <laughs> uh, how else could I have caught it? I don't know, you could have been chopping up chimp meat and cut your finger. That one. <laughs> Choppy, chimpy finger thing. I bet he went straight into the jungle and found that chimp. Went, you fucking gave me AIDS. <laughs> I gave you what? <laughs> you gave me AIDS. I gave you a blowjob. Shush, shut up. <laughs> I got AIDS from you. Well, where did I get AIDS from? From eating monkeys. I don't eat monkeys. <laughs> You're either eating them or fucking them. I was eating them. 